When I am at work, I hear, what about me? A lot. I teach preschool, so a huge part of my day is spent with four and five year olds. My usual re responses are, you will get your turn, I won't leave you out, or be patient. Worrying about ourselves before caring for others is a part of our human development. I can attest that some young children will amaze me with their level of compassion for others. I have seen a child give a sad classmate a treasured toy, but most of the time, it's mine with a firm authoritative voice is what I witness. As parents, teachers, and extended family members, we begin the process of helping children think about others when they are very young. One of our Bible memory verses in preschool is found in Matthew 22, 37 and 39. Love the Lord with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. Love your neighbor as you love yourself. When I try to explain the meaning of this passage to my students, I realize it really is a straightforward command that Jesus gives us. Love him with every part of yourself and be happy when someone else gets something you like. So simple, maybe, but definitely not easy. God helps us out with these words in 1 Corinthians 13. Love is patient, love is kind. It does not envy, it does not boast, it is not proud. It does not dishonor others, it is not self-seeking. When I was a child, I talked like a child. I thought like a child, I reasoned like a child. When I became a man, I put the ways of childhood behind me. We have all known people in our lives that are selfish and those that are selfless. People who give genuinely without ulterior motives are the ones we remember with fondness. Being an adult is not full of freedom like we think it will be when we are children. I am truly humbly brought to tears when I'm reminded of the way Jesus spoke and then actively responded to his disciples. The account of this event is found in John 13. The scene is set just before the Passover feast. Jesus knew the time had come for him to leave his world and go to the Father. The evening meal was served. Jesus got up from the meal, took off his outer clothing, and wrapped a towel around his waist. After that, he poured water into a basin and began to wash his disciples' feet, drying them with the towel that was wrapped around him. When he had finished washing their feet, he put on his clothes and returned to his place. Do you understand what I have done for you? He asked them, you call me teacher and Lord, and rightly so, for that is what I am. Now that I, your Lord and teacher, washed your feet, you should also wash one another's feet. I have set you an example that you should do as I have done for you. I tell you the truth, no servant is greater than his master, nor is a messenger greater than the one who sent him. Now that you know these things, you will be blessed if you do them. Jesus, the Son of God, humbled himself to the act of a servant. What better example do you need? Put others first. You will be blessed in return.